following program is sponsored by CBN. Welcome to the 700 Club. Both history and political drama are in the making. Today, the Senate trial of President Trump begins after a lot of drama on Capitol Hill yesterday. With great pomp and circumstance, House managers finally delivered the impeachment articles. So what happens next? Here's Abigail Robertson with the latest. A historic moment on Capitol Hill Wednesday as the impeachment articles made the ceremonial walk from the House to the Senate, delivered by the seven House managers selected to prosecute the case. House Democrats may have descended into pure factionalism, but the United States Senate must not. Today, Chief Justice John Roberts will be sworn in, as well as every senator who will serve as jurors. It's always about marking history using time. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi insists holding the articles for several weeks benefited Democrats. Time has been our friend in all of this because it has yielded incriminating evidence, more truth uh, into the public domain. At the signing of the China Trade Agreement Wednesday, President Trump referencing the drama at the Capitol. Some of the congressmen may have a vote and I don't, it's on the impeachment hoax. On Twitter, he called it another con job, adding that all of this work was supposed to be done by the House, not the Senate. Time has given us the ability to uh, show the American people the necessity of a fair trial. Newly appointed impeachment manager Adam Schiff said a fair trial demands the consideration of more evidence. Specifically, newly released documents from an associate of Rudy Giuliani, the president's personal attorney. If we feel that we do not have enough information, I'm fine with it. Indiana Republican Mike Braun told CBN News that calling witnesses goes both ways, citing Joe Biden as a potential witness due to his son Hunter's role with Ukrainian gas company Burisma. How that can't be relevant to the discussion when there was corruption in Ukraine and are you immune? from any uh, kind of a scrutiny uh, because you're a potential political rival. After months of closed door meetings and public hearings, Republican senators see the trial on their side of the hill as an opportunity to hear the rest of the story. There is a significant desire on our side for the president to be heard. During the mandatory trial, strict rules are in place on the Senate floor, including no cell phones or electronics or senators talking amongst themselves. Plus, they're being told to prepare for six hour sessions. Reporting from Capitol Hill, Abigail Robertson, CBN News. Well, we'll see what happens, but unfortunately, I think we all know the result. Uh, we all know the Republicans control the Senate. And so the Republicans are going to vote for President Trump and uh, that, that will be the end of it. So this has been a one giant exercise in political theater. Uh, what we've seen so far in the House of Representatives, that theater was controlled by the Democrats. And now that it moves to the Senate, that theater is now controlled by the Republicans. Uh, and at the end of the day, what I think is, is, is the thing to mourn is we've gone, done great damage to the impeachment process. If impeachment becomes a partisan battle uh, and you're impeaching a president just because you didn't like the result of an election, uh, the Democrats have been calling for impeachment literally since the day he was elected, before he was even sworn in. Uh, so what, what have we come to as a republic when we don't honor an election? We've got another one coming up, and at that one, you and I get to vote. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens then. In other news, what did Elizabeth Warren say to Bernie Sanders during their confrontation after Tuesday night's debate? Well, John Jessup will tell us. John? Thanks, Gordon. It is now coming to light. Senator Elizabeth Warren accused Senator Bernie Sanders of calling her a liar after the Democratic presidential debate Tuesday night during a tense exchange where she refused to shake his outstretched hand. CNN, which co-hosted the debate, released the audio Wednesday. I think you called me a liar on national TV. I think you called me a liar on national TV. 
Let's not do it right now. You want to have that discussion? We'll have that Any discussion. Time. You called me. You told me. All right, let's not do it now. During the debate, Sanders denied he said a woman couldn't win the White House. Warren says in a one-on-one -on -one meeting in 2018, Sanders disagreed with her that a woman could win a presidential election. Well, the Senate takes up the U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade agreement today, with lawmakers expected to pass the bill and send it to the president's desk this morning. It comes on the heels of more good economic news. President Trump signing that new trade deal with China Wednesday. The administration says the phase one agreement is a step towards de-escalation of the trade war. China has agreed to buy $200 billion more in American goods and services over the next two years. The agreement rolls back some, but not all, tariffs on Chinese goods. No announcement yet on when the next round of negotiations will begin. We will be right back with more of the 700 Club right after this. Mark and Lisa Conway had a comfortable life, but Mark felt called to something greater. So he quit his job. Soon the family couldn't make ends meet. The Conways needed a financial miracle, and here's how they got one. Mark Conway was a divorced single dad. Lisa was coming out of her own divorce. Some mutual friends introduced the two to each other one Sunday morning in church. One year later, they married. At the time, Mark was making good money running his family's monument business. But soon, he felt he needed a change. I was good at what I did, but I just wasn't satisfied. I wasn't fulfilled. I was a little taken aback by it and a little afraid because we had a, a lot of responsibility. Mark sold his family's business and then landed a job as a financial advisor in an investment firm. But Mark began having trouble at his new job, earning enough money to support his family. They pay you a small salary. It's just enough to live. And then that salary uh, eventually goes away, and then you're, you're on your own by what you produce. Before long, the Conways were in serious financial trouble. I felt like I was in the middle of an ocean. I was looking at a life raft. It got to the point that we had to put our house for sale, and I don't know where we thought we were going to live. There was just the money was, was going and almost gone. Even though they were struggling, the Conways wouldn't stop tithing off the little income they made. And we put Malachi 310 on our computer screen to remind us, and it talks about bring the whole tithe into the storehouse um, so that there will be food in his house. And he says, test me and see if I will not open the windows of heaven and bless you. And we stood on that promise. And every day, the Conways prayed for a miracle. As 700 Club viewers, They'd watch stories where couples laid hands on their bills. Mark and Lisa did the same. And then one day, the couple saw something else on the program. Pat comes on and says, you know, there's someone out there that needs a financial miracle. Now, right now, I believe God wants to do a financial miracle in people's lives. There are many of you who are hurting financially. Uh, you're really struggling. The moment he said it, I knew that was for me. I got up and I just prayed and I just claimed it. It wasn't long after that prayer that things began to change. Within two hours, Lisa was offered a teaching job. And shortly after, Mark got a call out of the blue. And they said, well, we would like to talk to you about coming and working for us. It immediately changed everything. And within a year, he received a nice bonus, which is kind of unheard of. And there again, it, in the natural, it didn't make sense. But we knew that was God. The new job gave Mark a steady income with a hefty raise. And while they did eventually sell their house, it wasn't because they had to downsize. It was because they were now moving into their dream home twice the size of their last. God is faithful. He has been so faithful to us, and there is no reason why we should be where we're at today other than God. That's the only explanation. He did this. That's not because I'm smart. That's not because 
I'm the best financial advisor in the world. That's because of God's goodness. Mark is now a senior vice president at the company that cold called him those years ago. And the Conways are bringing home six times more than they did before Mark changed careers. In fact, their giving today is more than what their annual salary used to be. And the Conways say that giving is the key to their success. I don't think we would have seen the breakthroughs had we not trusted God with our finances during our greatest hour of need. Even when times are lean and you don't feel like giving, give anyway, because God will come through. He will do His part. He always does. Do His part, He always does, and here is His promise to you. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and test me now in this, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you a blessing, that there will not be room enough to receive it. For the Conways, they walked that out and they received it. They now give away more money than they used to earn in an entire year. That is a blessing you cannot contain. God will watch over his word to perform it, and he will perform it for you. Well, when the housing market crashed, Chris Birch was hit hard. He stopped getting paid and started to feel the pressure. Chris could see a financial storm on the horizon, and he knew that he had a major decision to make. As the co-founder of Grand Bay Construction, Chris Birch builds vacation homes and properties across the tourist town of Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. This is a big tourist destination. I had plans to, you know, build a big construction company was my plan. And uh, I had some partners. But within two years, the housing market began to crash. And Chris and his financial partners quickly felt the pressure. Prices in real estate were uh, being dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped. And owners defaulted and couldn't pay us. So we were sort of left um, with a lot of obligations financially that we couldn't keep going. I didn't panic, but it, it, was, uh, it was sort of like, okay, you know, what's going on? You know, look, we got a storm coming. Chris is a Christian and has been a faithful tither since his mid-20s. But with his business struggling, Chris had to decide if he should stop giving. The Lord has taken care of me all these years. Even things have been tight. You know, why would I not trust his word? And why would I just borrow from him or steal from him or whatever you want to say? I'm, uh, and so I said, I'm not going to do that. To show the Lord that I really do believe him and I really trust him. I'm gonna actually give more than I'm giving now, even though, again, my income's going down. And it wasn't a lot, but I, this was something I just felt, like the Lord said, just, you know, just trust me with this. At the end of 12 months, Chris was amazed at what happened to his finances. I had paid off my graduate school loans, which, which, which was pretty amazing. And I had saved more money in that one year than I had in the previous five years combined. Again, you know, God's economy just doesn't work the way ours does. There's no way I can explain that, besides him just saying, you trusted in me, and I'm going to provide for you. His construction business survived the recession. In the years since, Chris has seen even more incredible growth. So from those days when we first got started, I mean, I don't know the exact numbers, but I would say we're probably close to almost 10 times um, in volume sales of what we were doing back then. Chris continues to tie that also gives time and money to ministries that serve those in need, like CBN. Operation Blessing and all those type things, I really believe in those kind of things. I'm trying to do that as well, but I love uh, being part of a bigger organization that's doing those things and is changing the world and bringing light to, to the darkness. He's increased the business, and in turn, we, we take a portion of our business and we turn that back into the kingdom, whether it's buying Bibles or um, we've got uh, mission products all over the world where we're helping spread the gospel. According to Chris, the key to overcoming financial strain is following God's financial principles. If you do what God asks you to do, he will give you this peace and He will provide a way. Even when, like in my case, there was no way it worked on paper. And all these things that looked horrible, um, I've turned out better. Everything has turned out better. And, and He's proven to me that he, he will take care of me even through those difficult times. He'll take care of you as well because He loves you. He wants to take care of you. He wants to give you your heart's desire. Here's the promise from Luke chapter 6. Give and it will be given to you. 
a good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Chris walked that out. You see the measure that came back to him. If you follow the same principle, you'll get the same result. We've got some wonderful news from partners from Michigan and Texas are joining together to issue a $131,000 challenge. And let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing from the partners from Michigan and Texas. We ask for you to open the windows of heaven over them. We know that you watch over your word to perform it. And you are working all things together for their good. Now for those watching, speak to them. Let them know that you have their future. You are their future. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. $131,000 is the challenge amount. 41 minutes and 12 seconds on that clock. Call us now. What are we asking for? We're asking you to join the 700 Club. How much is that? $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Some can give higher. We have 700 Club Gold, $40 a month. 1,000 Club is $84 a month. 2,500 is 2,500 a year. Founder, 5,000 or more a year. And then Chairman Circle, 10,000 or more a year. At whatever level, call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Ter? Well, CBN shows can be seen all around the world. But when we first started nearly 60 years ago, we had trouble getting our signal around the block. So how did CBN become a global ministry? Pat Robertson reveals the secrets in his new book, The 10 Laws for Success. He founded one of the world's largest television ministries. Welcome folks to the 700 Club. Formed a global relief organization demonstrating God's love in action. Thank you for helping us. Established a leading university. Graduates, flip your tassel and became a New York Times best-selling author. Now, Pat Robertson wants to share with you significant insights learned from a lifetime in the Word of God. In his latest book, 10 Laws for Success, Keys to Win in Work, Family, and Finance, you'll discover the laws that govern success and how they can work for you. A real-world guidebook that can revolutionize your life. Call now, 1-800-700-7000, or go to CBN.com to receive Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success. Now, the Bible is filled with wisdom and wise counsel, and God wants you and I to walk in His ways. Pat has culled out just some of those, and he's written 10 laws for success. We want you to have this, and when you join the 700 Club, it's our way of saying thank you for caring about other people. Our number's toll-free. It's 1-800-700-7000. We just began a challenge, so that means when you call, every dollar you pledge will be matched dollar for dollar, so your giving goes twice as far. And as soon as you give us a call, we're going to send you 10 laws for success. I think it'll really be a blessing in your life. Gordon? For 35 years, Ethel Graham was a drug addict. Today, she works for Child Protective Services, runs a recovery home for women, and is earning a bachelor's degree. She also purchased a home. How did it all happen? Take a look. Growing up in the projects of Louisville, Kentucky, Ethel Graham dreamed of the day she'd have a home of her own. Your mom lived in the project. Then her kids live in the project. Then her kids' kids live in the project. And it was the same thing over and over. I just kept saying, I want a house. I always dreamed of having my own house. But at 17, Ethel became an addict. For 35 years, she was in and out of jail for drug use and prostitution, all while mothering five children. I mean, I didn't see no hope. This is your life. You ain't worth nothing, you worthless. This is all you is. That changed when her granddaughter, Taraya, was born in 2010. Wanting to be there for her daughter and new grandbaby, Ethel checked into rehab. While there, she tuned into a program she had never seen before. I started listening to God and something about his voice. I said, how he would say that God loves you. All you have to do is believe in it. I would see people who had stories like mine, and they gave me hope. And it made me believe that God loves me, and if he did it for them, he can do it for me. 
Ethel began reading the Bible every day. And even though she only received $60 every other week for disability, she began giving 10% to CBN. I made a choice that I have to trust God. How can I go wrong on trusting God? Because this is somebody that loves me no matter what. Nine months later, Ethel found herself trusting God again when she completed the program. I'm like, okay, I don't have a job. I ain't never really worked. Show me what you want me to do. That same day, the rehab director offered her a position. And I'm like, you want a person who was a thief, a liar, and a cheater to work for you? And she said, yeah, I want you to work for us because everybody loves you and we see something different in you. Immediately, Ethel found a church, continued tithing and giving to CBN. I never did want for nothing. I'm talking about no worries about how I'm going to pay a bill, how I'm going to get through the next week. And I know it was all because I started trusting God. Ethel got better jobs over the next few years, and as her income increased, so did her giving. In 2011, she married Terry. Together, they saved and prayed for a place to call their own. By 2013, Ethel's childhood dream finally came true when she and her husband purchased a fixer-upper. This is my house, the house that God got for me. It means more than words could say because once I got to the point that God loved me, all these things is extra. These days, Ethel celebrates her sobriety alongside her now nine-year-old granddaughter, Tariah. She serves as a family mentor for Child Protective Services, runs a recovery home for women overcoming addiction, and is earning a bachelor's degree in social work from Eastern Kentucky University. She says the best reward is the blessing that comes with trusting God. You'll be amazed of the little that you give and all that you receive from God. Try him. That's what he said in his word. Just try me. And I'll open up the gates of heaven and flood out a blessing. So I say to you, try him. And watch what God do. Let Ethel's testimony witness to you. Let it be a testimony. You can say, I can do that. I can walk this out. I can walk with him. But get it straight first. Ethel got it straight. God loves you no matter what. He says to you, come, let us reason together. Though, though your sins be as scarlet, yet they will be white as snow. He wants to take away all guilt, all shame, all condemnation. He wants to put you in his presence with great joy. He wants to do all of these things because he loves you no matter what. And when you do it his way, wonderful things will happen. Here's a promise from Psalm 37. Take delight in the Lord. Love him. Take delight in him. And he will give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. When you put your trust in him, wonderful things will happen. Do it now. Say, I will trust him. And just as Ethel did, she trusted him very tangibly. She trusted him with her money and said, Lord, I know you're going to take care of me. I'm going to honor your word and you are going to open the gates of heaven and flood out a blessing. She stood on the word. You can too. So if you'd like then in January 2020 to say, let's take a stand. Let's live, live God's way. Let's do it God's way. Call us, 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to be a member of the 700 Club. We have a $131,000 challenge when we get the red number up. 118000 to go with 33 minutes on that clock. Call us right now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thank you, Gordon. Well, it's a brand new year, and we want you to make this your best year yet. Pat Robertson's latest book is called The Ten Laws for Success, and it's filled with the winning secrets that you need for your home, work, and life. These laws can bring blessing beyond comprehension. Now available, Pat Robertson's latest book, 
10 Laws for Success. And I believe these laws can transform the nation, transform organizations, transform you and your family. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to CBN.com to receive your own copy today. 10 Laws for Success. Fundamental principles of growth for all situations and for all people, no matter what your station in life. End confusion. Find answers. Reach your goals. 10 Laws for Success. Keys to win in work, family, and finance. Get Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success, and start winning today. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to CBN.com. Available now. The law of use, the law of reciprocity, the law of perseverance, just a few of the 10 laws for success that you'll learn about. Keys to achieve your goals and find fulfillment. It's all in here. And the best part is this is not man-made wisdom. These are the words of Jesus. And Pat does a masterful job of putting it all in such an easy format that you can just read over and over. I was reading it last night with my husband and we just loved it. We're going to read this over and over because this book is life changing. Well, how do you get it? Great question. Just go to your phones right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's just 65 cents a day, $20 a month. That's all it takes to help so many hurting people all over the world and right here at home. The number is on your screen. It's toll free 1-800-700-7000. You can also log on to CBN.com. That's a great way to give. We're in the middle of a $131,000 challenge. Every dollar that you pledge right now will be doubled, will be matched dollar for dollar, so your giving will go twice as far. And remember, you cannot outgive God. Terry? Well, when the Ruans first saw their baby, they thought they'd been cursed. That's because their son had a cleft lip and palate. At first, the Ruans asked a wizard for help, and when that didn't work, they went to a hospital and were immediately sent home because they couldn't afford the operation. Mr. Ruan and his wife live in a superstitious village in northwest China. People say that if a woman is pregnant and someone moves any dirt around in front of her house, her child will be born with problems. When Mrs. Ruan was pregnant, her brother-in-law moved dirt to fill in a hole in front of her house anyway. He was just trying to help, but the whole family blamed him when Junji was born with a cleft lip and palate. He could only eat lying down, or his food would come out of his mouth. He couldn't stop coughing. I was afraid he'd suffocate to death. After choking several times, Junji started refusing to eat and became anemic. It's like he was in a trance just wasting away day after day. He had no energy. His skin was like an old man, and his legs trembled when he walked. Once he ran to meet me at the door, but he was so weak, he fell down. Junji's grandma thought that a wizard might be able to help heal Junji's anemia. He did some spells to get the evil spirits to leave, but his anemia just got worse. Mr. Ruan was so determined to get his son's surgery that sometimes he'd work three days straight with no sleep. My son was depending on me, so I had to go on. When he was sick, doctors just told me to take him home because we didn't have money. I didn't know how we'd ever get Junjie's surgery. Then the Ruans met a man in their village that shared how CBN had repaired his child's cleft lip. He said to me, don't worry, maybe CBN can help you too. When the Ruans contacted us, we quickly set up surgery for Jun Ji. Now he loves to gobble up food, and he's always in good spirits. Sometimes when I show him a picture from before, he asks me, who's that? Many people tell him how handsome he is. It makes me so proud. When I see what CBN has done for us, I know God exists. Why else would they help strangers like us? Now I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. I even made up with my brother. Thank you so much. Seeing Junjie smile makes me so happy. I don't know what we would have done without you. 
That smile is priceless, isn't it? You made such a difference, not just in Junji's life, because of course his future is different, but in the hope and the heart of his mom and dad, who had no capacity to change this. 700 Club members, you're doing this kind of thing all around the world, and you do it every single day. We want to say thank you. To those of you who haven't joined the 700 Club, do it today. Your gift will go twice as far because we're in the middle of a challenge. But let me show you the options you have. A general 700 Club membership is 65 cents a day. That's $20 a month. Or you could go up to 700 Club Gold at $40 a month. Maybe some of you who are already, already 700 Club or 700 Club Gold members would like to go up to the 1,000 Club at $84 a month. We've had lots of people jumping up to the 2,500 Club at $209 a month. And then our founders join us at 5,000 a year. That works out to $400. $17 a month. We also have a group called the Chairman Circle. These are friends who give gifts of $10,000 or more a year. Call now. Just tell us what you'd like to do. And as soon as you do, we're going to send you 10 laws for success. It's going to be a blessing to you and you'll be touching and changing lives immediately. Gordon? Ariel had to take out a loan just to be home for the birth of his daughter. Before long, this Marine was struggling to pay the interest and that wasn't even his biggest concern. Ariel and his wife prayed for help, and partners like you answered their prayers. U.S. Marine Ariel has served his country for over seven years. His wife, Christiana, is thrilled he enlisted after they got married. I don't regret him joining. It's, it helped our family a lot. So it benefited us, so, you know, I think he made a good decision. Ariel was away training when Christiana was expecting their first child. They didn't have the money for Ariel to fly home for the birth. Okay. I'm going to figure something out. I was talking to uh, several other Marines. They said, hey, they have this opportunity where you, they pay for your flight and you just pay them later. Ariel made it home for the birth, but the couple couldn't pay back the loan right away. Soon the growing interest exceeded their minimum payments. And I told them, I will pay you back eventually, but for now my family comes first. They pretty much just said, okay, well, it's going to continue to build up. Adding to their financial strain was the purchase of a used vehicle that they discovered had multiple mechanical problems. It's been times where we had to sacrifice other bills to pay for the, the car, whatever repair it needed. This car, oh my goodness, it's literally our biggest headache. To deal with the stress, they relied on their faith and turned to prayer. I asked God to help us do it. I know that God will not give us what we cannot handle. New Song Church and CBN's Helping the Homefront partnered together to help this family. Pastor West shared the news that CBN was paying off the loan they took out to fly Ariel home for their daughter's birth. What do you think of that? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> thank God, right? <laughs> yes, thank God. We really appreciate that. Well, that would take some stress out of your life, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> because you said the car is really the biggest stress in your life. Yes. Helping the home front wants to take care of that too. We're gonna get you working with our, our friends at uh, North County Ford. We're gonna look over the car and we're gonna find a way to get you a reliable vehicle. I'm sorry. We've seen the struggle, I've seen your faith, and we get to be a conduit through helping the home front. North County Ford was ready to help. When they determined the vehicle wasn't worth fixing, CBN paid off the car, which enabled the couple to purchase a reliable vehicle. To have CBN just bless us with this just great opportunity, it's just, I'm speechless. It just brings me excitement on how happy I am that we did keep the faith. This is helping dramatically, and I really appreciate it. And that appreciation goes to you. If you're a member of the 700 Club, you're part of everything. You're part of that. You're part of helping the home front. You're part of Superbook. You're part of cleft palate surgeries. You're part of water wells. You're part of preaching the gospel around the world. If you're not a member, join with us. 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to be a member of the 700 Club. Now, when you call, make sure you ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving. Bank is doing all the work, and we can send as our gift to you monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, Ask for Pledge Express when you call, or you can go on to cbn.com slash give, or you can now text us 
text CBN, those three letters, CBN, to 71777, and a monthly giving form will come up for you. Either way, do it now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, if you want to build a home, a factory, or the next wonder of the world, you'll need to start with a blueprint. And if you want to build a life filled with unprecedented success, you'll need this. Pat Robertson's latest book. Your life needs a direction, a blueprint for success. In his book, 10 Laws for Success, Pat Robertson draws from a wellspring of wisdom acquired from a life rooted in God's Word. Discover how to bring your family economic success, build unity to achieve your goals, and grow in perseverance to reap its rewards. Get Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success, and start winning today. Well, if you're looking for a self-help book to start the new year, uh, look no further than this, 10 Laws for Success. This is Pat's new teaching, the spiritual secrets that bring blessing and favor and so much more. And the best news is this is not man-made wisdom here. This is the words of Jesus, and you can take it to the bank. It works every single time. We want you to have it because it's so life-changing. How do you get it? Great question. Just go to your phones and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. 65 cents a day, $20 a month. That's all it takes to become a CBM partner and to help so many people around the world. You saw how we just helped the people, uh, our military families. I just love those stories because they deserve it so much. Maybe it's clean drinking water, that's what's on your heart, or you just wanna help people with life-changing medical treatments. All of that stuff CBN does and so much more. Disaster relief, I could go on and on, but you get the picture. If you wanna be a part of what God is doing, I encourage you to go to your phones right now because when we join together, we can make a huge difference, an eternal difference, and you can't outgive God. Whenever you release something that little in your hand, God's going to give you back something greater. So please go to your phones right now. Gordon. All right, I've got some great news from Fort Worth, Texas. A thousand club member going to founder five thousand yes. dollars. That takes us eighty thousand with twenty minutes and twenty-seven seconds on the clock. Be a part of it. Call us one eight hundred seven hundred seven thousand. Anita Ling says she's found her purpose in life. It just took a while for her to find it. A few years ago, Anita was buried underneath $300,000 of debt, and she could barely afford groceries. Anita Ling is a busy real estate investor who manages over 80 properties, but she always finds time to help others. Recently, she went to Peru for a missions trip. I'm so grateful to be able to do a little bit of something. That's my why. That's my purpose. Anita's favorite part is helping out the local children. She's given them bikes, soccer balls, and copies of CBN's Superbook. I especially love Superbook, which I believe is a great way to introduce kids to Jesus. Anita says she works hard so she can have these chances to give to others. But a few years ago, she was having problems supporting herself. When the housing crisis hit, Anita's tenants couldn't pay the rent. And by 2009, she was $300,000 in debt. I was stuck with all these mortgages, no income, and I just didn't know how I was going to maintain it. Anita filed for bankruptcy and could barely afford groceries. Later, a friend introduced her to the 700 Club. It really gave me a lot of encouragement and I was very emotional when I hear some of the stories and also seeing all the good work that they're doing around the world. Anita became a CBN partner, and since then, she has seen her income grow. The few years before that, I always end up with about two, three, four thousand left in my personal account at the end of each year. In 2017, when I started to tie, that year, at the end of year, I had 10 times that amount, I had 39,000 and change in my account at the end of the year. And that's the most money I ever had in my life saved up. Anita is thankful for the blessings of the last few years, and she's glad she's placed her finances in God's hands. If I leave it all to God, He would take care of everything. He really does. And He will take care of you. All you have to do is trust Him and live life the way He's commanded us to. 
All you have to do is that. And when you walk it out, wonderful things will happen for you. Now, I've got some great news from St. Charles, Illinois. A thousand club member saying I can go to $2,500, $2,500. And then from Albuquerque, New Mexico, another 1,000 Club member saying I can go to 2,500, 2,600. That goes into this challenge. The red number is coming down 17 minutes, 28 seconds, 131,000 is the challenge, 65 is left, so we're more than halfway, almost halfway there. Uh, and we need to hear from you, 17 minutes and 16 seconds. Call us, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Manya remembers being herded into a Nazi ghetto. During the war, she survived on a diet of beetroots. Other members of her family didn't make it out alive. Today, Manya is a widow living in Israel, and she has found hope there thanks to CBN Partners. As I sat with Manya in her small apartment in Nazareth, she told me about her life under Nazi occupation during the Holocaust. One of my earliest memories is of my father and eldest brother leaving to join the Red Army and the sadness I felt seeing them go. Then the Nazi came and turned our village into a ghetto. It all happened so fast. Thousands of Jews from the surrounding area were forced into the ghetto. Manya's family shared their tiny house with 22 people and worked in the fields from morning to night. Every day I cried to my mother because I was so hungry. Sometimes she gave me a piece of the beetroots. The Nazi made us grow in the fields. This is how we survived. But many people in my family were beaten or killed before liberation. Manya immigrated to Israel with her husband in 1990. Now she's a widow living alone in poverty. So CBN Israel brings her food regularly. Lately, it's been harder for Manya to get around. To help, we got her a new walker with a built-in chair she can use to rest whenever she needs to. The food is wonderful and the walker is so nice. I be able to get out more and that makes me happy. I can't say enough how grateful I am. With the support of CBN Israel donors, Manya says her hope has been restored. This help is so important. It's good for my soul. It encourages me to know you care about what we went through. In Hebrew we say, Todami Kerev Lev. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, 700 Club members. I love being able to show you the impact of what your generosity is able to accomplish around the world. We're in the middle of a challenge right now, and that means when you call, every dollar you pledge will be matched dollar for dollar. I'd like to show you another way you can stretch your giving a little bit, and that's by using Pledge Express. It's electronic monthly giving. It means the bank does all the work. You can stop it whenever you want, but it saves us a little in administrative costs, so we can put even more of your gift into the lives of people like mine. Our way of saying thank you for using Pledge Express is to send you Power for Life teachings. We'll give you one every month, and we think they'll be a great blessing to you. So when you call today, say, I'd like to join the 700 Club. Tell us what level you'd like to join at, and then say, I'd like to do it using Pledge Express. We say thank you. Gordon? All right. From Ephrata, Pennsylvania, a 1,000 Club member saying, I want to go to 2,500 a year. All of that goes into this challenge. We're down to 47,000 with 14 minutes. If you're already a CBN member, consider going up. If you're a 700 Club member, consider 700 Club Gold. If you're a 1,000 Club member, um, consider going to 2,500 Club. Uh, it's just 2,500 a year, and then founder, $5,000 or more a year. At whatever level, call us right now, 1-800-700-7000. Well, Nicole Ellis had never seen anything like what she saw after a tornado ripped through her neighborhood. Trees were downed and power lines snapped, but Nicole didn't just see devastation. She also saw a loving team from Operation Blessing ready and able to clean up. Nicole Ellis is a single mom who shares a special bond with her daughter, Shiloh. She's the best friend I've ever had. It's like watching myself grow up. Nicole and Shiloh live just outside Dayton, Ohio. They've seen many storms, but one night as Nicole tucked her daughter into bed, something felt different. 
I heard the hail hitting the window. Right when I went to look, I heard a, just a crack. And the power went out. I told her it's time to get in the basement, and we all ran straight down to the basement. And then it hit. Moments later, one of the many tornadoes that broke out around Dayton tore through Nicole's neighborhood. You could hear the transformers popping. It almost sounded like gunshot, just pop, 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 pop. It was really scary. It's kind of like a movie. It's, well, it's a lot to take in. But you really didn't know how bad it was until we walked outside after it was over. Destruction was everywhere. Nicole tries to stay strong for her daughter, but it isn't easy. Yesterday, I was having a meltdown. I was talking to her about it. I was trying to explain it, and then she said, but no, no matter what, every day, you have me and I love you to the moon and back. I'm so proud of her. The love Nicole and her daughter share will get them through this, but they still had a yard filled with downed trees. I've never in my 45 years been through anything like this. That's when volunteers from Operation Blessing showed up in their neighborhood. They're just here to help, and it's been an absolute blessing. I'm so thankful for you guys. You guys are picking up trees. You're picking up all the debris, and I'm so happy. It made me tingle inside because you're just a group of people here to help, and I've just felt nothing but joy all day. I thank everybody who has ever donated to Operation Blessing. Anything that you can do makes the biggest impact in so many people's lives. It's ginormous, and I'm so thankful. You can make an impact. You can make an impact with our disaster recovery teams. You can make an impact in our food delivery teams. You can make an impact on special surgeries, water wells, caring for orphans, caring for our active duty military families, preaching the gospel around the world. It's all made possible when people like you care enough to give to say, yes, I want to be a part of that. Call us, 1-800-700-7000. Say, I want to join the 700 Club. Let's go over to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? All right, thanks, Gordon. Well, do you want more success in your job? How about your relationships, even your financial investments? We'll show you how to get all of that and more in Pat Robertson's latest book, The Ten Laws for Success. A dynamic new book from Pat Robertson, 10 Laws for Success, Keys to Win in Work, Family, and Finance. I believe these laws can transform the nation, transform organizations, transform you and your family. Learn how to grow in your skills and talents, the connection between service and greatness, the incredible power of unity, and much more. Get Pat Robertson's 10 Laws for Success and start winning today. Start winning today. You can do it. You know, this book, 10 Laws for Success, is really a real world guidebook that can revolutionize your life if you put them into practice. We want you to have it. It's our gift to you when you give us a call right now and just say, Yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's the secrets that govern the success of every person on the planet. That's, that's pretty heavy stuff, but you know what? It's the words of Jesus, and when He says it, He means it, and it works every time. This is our gift when you call right now, say, Yes, I want to join. It's 65 cents a day, $20 a month and you can help so many hurting people all over the world disaster relief feeding the hungry you name it we're doing it all and but we can't do it without you so please go to your phones right now and just say yes and make this the best year of your life terry eight-year-old angel had to be rushed to the hospital she was running a high fever and throwing up angel's mother knew exactly why her daughter had fallen ill she and her entire village had been drinking dirty water. When Epa and her family moved to this village in Myanmar, one of the first things they did was to look for clean drinking water. Here, water came from a stream, and people use it as a toilet. So they looked for another water source and found this muddy pond. Eight-year-old Angel told us about the water there. I saw that the water was yellow and smelled like mud. I didn't want to drink it either. The pond water has clay in it. When I cook white rice, it turns yellow. Apa tried to strain and boil the pond water before the kids drank it, but even that has not protected them. Sometimes they got very sick. I heard some people from the village died last year after drinking the water. Then Angel got a high fever and was vomiting. 
I was so scared she would die that I rushed her to a clinic eight miles away. Thank God she recovered. When Operation Blessing learned about the polluted pond and the stream, we dug a well for the entire community. The water is so clean and it tastes so good. Now, Epa doesn't worry about her daughters getting sick, and everyone is glad to have cool, clean water. The water is so pure and clear, and it has no smell. Thank you for our new well. I don't know about you, but when I see some of the water that people in many parts of the world have to drink, it's just unbelievable. And yet, you and I can make a difference. And in fact, if you're a 700 Club member, you have made a difference drilling thousands of wells, providing water purification systems. We want you to be a part of all of that. When you join the 700 Club, that's what you do. That and many, many other things. So call now. We're coming up on the end of the hour. We have a great challenge before us. We need you to call. And when you do, it means your call is going to be matched dollar for dollar. When you do, will you say you want to use Pledge Express with your gift? It's electronic monthly giving. Allows us to put even more into people like angels. Well, we want to say thank you by sending you Power for Life teachings. You'll get one of these every month. So call now. I want to join the 700 Club, and I want to do it using Pledge Express. All right, right we're hearing from Everman, Texas, 1,000 club members saying, I want to increase. $2,700, yes. that goes into that red number. Six minutes to go. We want to go way over the top on a $131,000 challenge. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Well, Rafi's mother was a Muslim, and she wanted him to become one as well. But Rafi didn't know what to believe until he started watching episodes of Superbook. Growing up with a Muslim mom and a dad who was Christian confused 11-year-old Rafi. When I was younger, my dad never told me about Jesus. But Rafi received plenty of input from his mom's side of the family. My aunts really pushed me towards Islam. I remember sometimes they said, you must not follow your father's religion because he is different than us. One day, a new friend invited him to an after-school program supported by CBN's Orphan's Promise. Rafi's dad dropped him off at the church the next day. They provide free tutoring for kids. I was a little shy when I went, but the teacher was friendly and kind. At the end of that first class, Rafi's teacher gave him a DVD to watch at home. The CBN Superbook episode, He is Risen. It really touched me when Jesus breathed his last breath on the cross. Then God's temple collapsed and one Roman soldier finally believed that Jesus is the Son of God. Later in the DVD, the host invited kids to pray to receive Jesus as Savior. Rafi hesitated. I decided not to pray at that moment because I thought my sister would tease me and because I wasn't sure I believe in Jesus 100%. Yet each time Rafi watched Superbook at the after-school program, he grew more troubled about that first episode he'd watched. One day, he sat on the corner of his bed and prayed to receive Jesus as Savior. I decided to pray that day because I really wanted to believe in him. Rafi began to urge his dad to go to church and now they both attend together. Rafi also prays for his mom and sister to believe in Jesus too. I love Superbook because it tells great stories. And Superbook is helping me grow closer to God every week. And you can be a part of it. You can be a part of taking the stories of the Bible to the children of the world. We're now in over 50 languages. We're trying to blanket the entire world with these wonderful super book stories so that an entire generation can get the witness of the gospel to know the wonderful stories of the Bible. When Bible characters are talking in Superbook, they're talking Bible verses. And God's word never returns void. When you hear it, it will change you. It changed Rafi. It's changing children around the world. And you can be a part of all of that. How? Join the 700 Club. Jo call us, 1-800-700-7000. Say, yes, I want to be a part of it. I want to help pre preach the gospel around the world. 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Oh, is the single mother who can't sleep at night. She worries about how she'll ever pay back all the money she owes. 
She's the sole provider for her young son and her mother, and the only work she can find is part-time. O is a single mom raising her young son alone. Her husband abandoned them before Tao was born. Tao means everything to me. When life is difficult, he inspires me to press on. O works part-time at a restaurant to buy food for her son and elderly mother. She's had to borrow for other things, like clothes and school fees. I get stressed, and I worry about how I will pay the money that I owe. I can't seem to find a way out. My daughter could not sleep at night. I wanted to help, but did not know how. Then Grandma Na suffered an aneurysm and was hospitalized for two months. O oh, borrowed more money to pay the medical bills. When I saw her hospital bills, I was shocked. I owed so much money, more than $2,000. I did everything I could to keep my mom alive. I saw my mom cry. I felt so sad for her. Then a neighbor told O about CBN's Orphan's Promise. We poured a concrete floor and installed other items needed to start a small restaurant at her house. O's income has doubled, and she has paid off her mom's medical bills. My life was like a tree that was near death. Then Orphan's Promise came and gave us new life through my new business. Meanwhile, Grandma Na is back on her feet and helping O prepare food for the restaurant. Now, I see my mom and my son smiling every day. You helped our family and brought a bright light into our lives. Thank you. Oh, friends, we can make such a difference. This was a family that was just trapped in life circumstances and couldn't seem to get a leg up. And then you arrived on the scene and you can see how drastically their life has changed. We say thank you. 700 Club members are doing this every day. If you haven't joined with us, today is the day for you to do it. It's the hour as well because we're coming up on the end of the hour and we've got a great challenge before us. So call our toll-free number, 1-800-700-7000. Here are some people who've done that. Someone from Chesterfield, Virginia, 1,000 Club member, lifting to the 2,500 Club. Thank you. And from Xenia, Ohio, a 2,500 Club member, lifting to $3,600. Thank you. And then from Palos Park, Illinois, someone uh, going giving a gift, a one-time gift of $3,000. Thank you so much, Gordon. All right, I've got Lockhart, Texas, 2,500 Club. Liberty Hill, Texas, $3,600. And then from Bel Air, Kansas, 2,500. Yes. All of that goes into this challenge. It was 131,000, and against that, you gave 158. Here's a word from Psalm 115. May the Lord give you increase more and more, you and your children. May God do that for you. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow.